Magda Celli, welcome to Cybersecurity Asia 2023. Thank you very much, Chris. Uh, Responsible Cyber, you're doing very well. Uh, we had a discussion last night. Uh, you've just come back from London as well. Uh, and now you've just ran a ransomware panel session and uh, your observations around ransomware right now and what you're talking to clients about. Absolutely. So first of all, ransomware has been a very popular topic in the latest years, but it's still continuing. Now the cyber criminals are taking a very I would say targeted approach and that means that they will find their best client or their best target and they will try their best to attack the company, get the highest ransom possible. Now we talked during the panel about a different type of techniques. We're talking about one type of extortion but there's double extortion, triple extortion as well and that actually means that companies need to understand and prepare themselves. It's not only about protection but as well response and that's actually what we have been addressing. On the other side we talked as well about third parties and how a third party might actually be the right channel for cyber criminals to start and succeed with their attacks. Are you finding you're traveling a lot as well, I, obviously we monitor to you and you're one of our judges for the Top Women in Security ASEAN Awards this year. Are you finding the conversations are very much the same around the world wherever you're going? You've, you've opened up in Poland recently, based in Singapore and again just back from London. Any change do you think in the language uh, of the need for cyber security awareness? Every region and every country has a different maturity. There is no doubt that not every company in a specific country is on the same, I would say, level of understanding or the same journey. So when it comes to, for example, Europe versus Asia versus Africa or the US, they're all on a different journey, again, and different stage in my view. The discussions, therefore, are different. In one, for example, country I'll be talking about very basic areas of cybersecurity, uh, where even third party risk management is not there as a concern, there's not even a topic, while in other countries third party risk management is a concern and a priority. So, and this is only an example. So it is not the same and that means as well that it's a concern for global organizations because while we are working in hyper-connected world, the risk might come from anywhere and if we have a different maturity, that means of course that we are as well exposed to different level of risks and a different kind of ecosystem. Yeah, and I suppose some takeaways on cyber insurance uh, in the ran ransomware discussion as well. I, I think, you know, cyber insurance uh, for me, whom I worked in that industry for a few years, yep. It's a great control to have for organizations. I think there is a lot of misunderstanding about what it is and how does it help. It's not a replacement. It's not actually something that will make your company specifically stronger. It's actually a loss prevention. And when it comes to loss prevention, it's like health insurance. You have it when something happens, you know that you have someone helping you with that. And cyber insurance is the same. Very often they have incident response support that companies might not have. And, and that covers, for example, uh, the fact that you have uh, the, that partner or company that you can call when something happens. They cover cost of forensic investigations, cost of legal. So I think cyber insurance in itself should be part of any company strategy, not as a replacement, but as, as a control and part of the strategy to become more resilient. Uh, and again, I use the loss control as a word because that's a term that they use in the industry <laughs> as well. Um, what's 2023 looking for? We're halfway through the year already. Uh, what are some of the, the highlights or call to actions that you might have for the remainder of 2023? Well, 2023 is really exciting for us, I think, uh, from the perspective that we just opened an office, like you mentioned, in Poland. Uh, we are opening as well in the UK. That was my trip. London nice. Tech Week was very exciting. And basically, our flagship product, which is called Immune, uh, is all about making sure that the ecosystem risk is actually not only assessed but as well monitored for organizations. So my focus will be into raising awareness about that. Uh, not only third party risk, but fourth parties, fifth parties, everyone who we're working supply with, chain, right? right? Yes, yeah, supply chain risk and how we can beyond our own 
cyber security, expand that, and actually share, have a shared responsibility across that ecosystem, I think it's beneficial for everyone involved. Wonderful. Well, look, thanks for getting uh, over from, well, just back from London, but here to Kuala Lumpur. Uh, thanks also for being a judge this year. Uh, you're a former winner of the awards anyway. Uh, but Dr. Magda Celli, thanks for joining us on My Security TV once again, uh, and safe travels home as well. Thank you very much, Chris. It's wonderful to be here. It's wonderful to be part of the judging panel. And I'm looking forward to the awardees. Beautiful. Thanks, Magda. Thank you.